Hey, good morning. We're at the Oak Brook Mall checking out the Sistine Chapel. It's kind of having the ceiling brought to eye level so that you can enjoy the masterpiece that is this creation by Michelangelo. Good morning, Martin Bialis. Good morning. So behind us, of course, the creation of Adam, one of the highlights of the works of art. How big are these uh, rec recreations, if you will? Yes, well, you know, we recreated everything in the original size. Okay. So uh, most of them are, you know, eight by 18 feet. People don't realize how big they are mm -hmm. because once when you're in the Sistine Chapel mm -hmm. to see the original, they're all the way up, you know, 50, 60 feet up high and they all look like snaps. I know, why did you want to break them at eye level? Because I had, you know, I had my own experience going mm -hmm. to the Sistine Chapel in Rome mm -hmm. And I just thought it was not a very pleasant uh, experience because uh, long lines, uh, you were crammed into a 10,000 square foot space with 2,000 people mm -hmm. screaming and yelling and the guards <laughs> screaming and yelling. No uh, pictures. No, no, there you go. <laughs> like very militant. Yes. You know, they take your camera. Yes. So, uh, so I thought, well, what is if we can uh, just bring those masterpieces close up to people to see, for people to see, uh, uh, in the original size, they can take all the time they want, they can take all the pictures they want, and they can also learn about every fresco that he did. It took him five years all alone with only one assistant living up at the scaffolding, never leaving it. In the 16th century. Right. At, you know, five years straight. And it's just amazing what, what one person can do. You mentioned fresco. The color and the quality of these pictures are unbelievable. How did you get them to look like frescoes? Well, we were searching for a special material mm -hmm. for, for quite some time, and we found it in Europe, in, in Germany. And it's because you want to make, make sure that the that the reproductions have the look and feel of a fresco yeah. and not look like an oil painting or some other technique. So, uh, and these vivid colors are, you know, from the Sistine Chapel and our, or the, the, the licensor's uh, photographer was able to go on the scaffolding when the frescoes were uh, restored, restored uh, about 25 years ago. So, uh, uh, and now those colors, th these are now how it looked like 500 years ago. No. This uh, is how they would look like if you visit now. Exactly. But now you don't have to go to the Sistine Chapel. You can see it up close and personal here at the Oak Brook Mall. It opens tomorrow. We'll give you more details coming up around town. Thanks, Anna.